90 sentences, sentences and you said they were classified on lotto. I specifically went to 1930 for that reason because they took it off. And since they're not there anymore as mulatto, what are they coming in as now? That was the question. I when started. Asked, I, I started at nineteen twenty. Hold on, bro. When you asked me to substantiate it, I substantiated with their racial pride of the time. You can see it in the census. So my question to you was, what did you think they identified as when these were their only options? George went on to tell you another reason why they would have came and identified as Negro in this. We're trying to figure out why you ain't answering that. Okay, I'm going to answer it. See, first of all, they don't classify themselves as a damn thing. It's what the white man says you are. Right. Right. So if they classified themselves, it would have been white. That's what it would have been. Because if you're saying oh that Marcus God. Garvey had an influence on the Hispanic Caribbean, <laughs> God damn it. How come oh all the God, their leaders man. are white? You sound crazy, bro. I, I sound crazy, but it's the truth. So you're telling me people from the Caribbean that came here and would have been been literally part of America's caste system that they would have tried to join into the white community during the Great Depression in a black as fuck. That's what you're telling me. Yep. You sound silly, He's bro. Lying. It sounds silly, but it's the truth. It's now, it, it, why, why do you think you, you see Hispanics today? Yeah. You don't know your I, history. I, I, I know black. You I know black. You Hispanic, bro. You keep saying it like it's a race. I'm, when I say Hispanic, in this uh, instance, I'm talking about the Caribbean Hispanics. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. You keep saying you Hispanic. Realize that the Central Americans, they matter too. You know that, yeah, right? but that's why I'm not bringing them up because I don't want to confuse the issue. No, I got I, I got that but too. But I put the link in. The, I put the link in the chat room for uh the ch uh, for people in the chat can go get that article. I mean, can go get it. and They can read it based off the 1930 census, and you can get a chance to see the Mexican. Yeah, I mean, it was a setup, bro. Like I like you gotta you gotta understand, bro. I'm just trying to show you something that you obviously don't know. Like I think you're making an argument that you ain't ready for. You know what I'm saying? Not, well, well, were you trying to say that Marcus Garvey? had uh inspiration on hispanic caribbeans to the point that even the united states says we're gonna follow what marcus garvey says that's what that's the way it sounds you're saying spanish-speaking caribbeans right 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 why 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 do you not see the um the pride in them like how do you how are you ignoring the pride in them that i mean that is what's documented, what, what's were you, documented are, you, you, are you from chicago I'm from I'm from Lima, Ohio, bro. Oh, Ohio. They had what's the before these Mexicans started being shipped all over the place. What were your main uh, Hispanics that you had over there? I didn't grow up around Hispanics, bro. Okay. Well, our main Hispanics in New York it was uh, Dominican, Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans. Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans, and Puerto Ricans and Cubans where I where I was from. Bro, I didn't grow up around Spanish speaking people, bro. You keep saying Hispanics as it's it's a race, bro. No, no. I, I keep specifying Caribbean Hispanics. That's the ones I keep specifying, and that's why I was speaking earlier about Batista because you talk about uh, Hispanic black pride. What about Batista, Cuba? What, what about does leadership have to do with the people? He's a part of the people. What do you mean? I'm confused, bro. Like, what does the leadership have to do with the people? He he was not part of a black pride movement. That's my point. You're you're being obtuse. I was one person representative of, of, of a of a group of people that do that, have that's race. not just one person, that's the leader of the nation. Like Donald Trump. For the leader of the nation. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Let me like let me Donald Trump, for example. Uh, okay, let me let me go let me go one better. What about Fidel Castro's Black Pride? What about it? Where was it? Uh, it, it was it was demonstrated by sitting down with Malcolm, a person. Uh, okay, was, so target though. So he's trying trying to tell me that Fidel Castro sat down with Malcolm X and said, "Hey, brother, I'm with you and and, and your people because we're all the same." That's what you're trying to tell me. No, I'm trying to tell you that they probably sat down and talked about the oppressive United States government. That's politics. That has nothing to do with race and black pride, though. Well, in Malcolm's case, it did. But not in Fidel Castro's right. case. But we don't. But see, that's a conversation we aren't privy to, right? I, I mean, didn't see. It, but we should be. If he had the black pride, but, but he what told everything else back in the day. See, we should know about his black pride. But what I'm saying is the willingness to sit down with America's target person is enough to show me that he had a, had an ear to it. That's now, because not, he was a target. <laughs> okay, right, right. So having said that, I'm not saying that that was uh, demonstrative of, of the Cuban people or black Cubans or any of that. 
you ask me where was the race pride in that, I'm just showing you that he sat down with one of our greatest leaders in this era, dog. Like, so it's, it's, it's crazy that you would say that for him. You could pick anywhere else, but like Castro? Like, well, I, mean, I, I had to because Cuba was the first one on your list of UNIA uh, Black Pride Nations. Right. Well, again, that was twenty. That was forty years previous too, though. To so, me, Malcolm and, and but they had Black Pride in 1926. That's when that form we show came from. What happened? So we. Well, what do you mean? What happened? What What has happened in this country for the past hundred years? There's still an oppressive force that sits above us. No matter, like you, you can't ignore that. But Cuba is different than the United States. It, I'm not saying it's not. I don't. Hey, I don't uh, quick question: don't Are are you from the Black Manosphere? <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I don't even know what that's about. Here, people talking about. It. I don't know. What that's I, don't, about. I don't get your point in that. that, that um, yeah, because I'm I'm kind of lost too, bro. Like See, I'm, I'm kind of like Dane Calloway. I'm just trying to get you. To, I'm just here to make you think. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm confused though. I'm not really thinking. I'm kind of confused. I don't get where all this ties in at. Well, let me try. Let me try it again. You brought up Marcus Garvey, the UNIA, 1926. You said there was Black Pride because of Marcus Garvey throughout those countries on the list. But, and, that was, but bro, that was just to demonstrate that when they got here, they would have identified as Negro. Right. I understood that. So. I, I'm telling you, from my experiences growing up, the blackest Hispanic never said I'm black. That's what I'm trying to but, tell but you. But you just said, but the key word, you said your experiences growing up. Uh, well, I can't, I can't, I can't go by anybody else's. No, 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 no. But but then you also said earlier when you talked about black pride and the conversation was about Cuba. And I'm telling you that there was plenty of black pride in Cuba. You got to look at uh, you got to look at the revolution with uh, uh, Castro and how the Afro Cubans backed him and helped him fight in the war. And the reason why there was also a thirty year war and in independence from Spain. Where did they bury uh, 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 Castro inside uh, Mariana Gonzalez uh, graveyard, which is considered the mother of Cuba? She's a black woman. So you have to understand the history and the fight of Cuba. So that's nice. Now tell me about Batista. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wants to stay away from what, Batista. What? No, 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 I don't want to stay away from Batista. There was a reason why it was a revolution because Batista came into power uh, after McHale, uh not after Mikhail got killed, but you had different regimes that was fighting and he was backed by Spain. So now when they was coming into power, he was killing and committing genocide on the poor Cubans and the Afro Cubans. Now and what was Batista's he, background? Racial background? We are, I, t I told you that he, he didn't like himself and his people. I get all that, but, but all right, so, we're, so my point Wait. with that is ahead, is where is the pride? Now, now I'm answering. I'm answering. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if you have any respect or any knowledge. Then when I answer this, because you said where is the pride, and I'm right here is going to see whether I say anything else to you in this conversation, <laughs> right? The, the, watch this, Taz. He said, "Where is the pride?" And if Batista. I just, wait, wait a minute. If, if Batista came into power. But I just told you that there was a 30... Now, y'all can go look this up. There was a 30-year fight for independence where Afro-Cubans was, was fighting in a war against Spain. And you have the uh, Mateo family, Mariana Gonzalez, and all these different Black people fighting up and, and, and creating the revolutions. You have Castro, who first started and failed, and had to go away and come back. And then when he finally got back, and he had he had the backing of, of, of other nations, and then he had uh, the black people. They fought and really got Batista the fuck out of there. You had black pride in Cuba because the black people there had already knew who they were, and they've been fight, doing in this fight since the 1800s. It's well documented. So when you say, just because you have a Batista there that's a coon, like you have in America, don't mean that you don't have black pride because the history reflects the fighting. And when you go to Cuba today, they still recognize they blackness and they African. So what are you talking about? See, now getting loud doesn't make you right, but so you have to understand, sir. Uh, yeah, you said you yeah. said countries. And no, again, no, 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 Cuba, no, 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 we're talking about those Cubans of that era when you said you said Batista and where was the black pride? And you're I'm saying that you're saying that, but hold up. Maybe, I'm telling everybody in the chat room right now to look up the McHale family 
and the war and the uh, re the, re the revolution in Cuba. Be type in the revolution before the revolution. Now and all this ties in to say what? That, 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 that once Cubans came over here, that they uh, identified as black. Now, now that's what I no, want to no, hear. No, no, uh, no, tie it into. no, no, no. The Cubans that came here was a lot of them was the backers and followers of Batista. You mean the Cubans that came back? Huh? You mean the Cubans that came back, right? No, no, no. Because the whole setup for Batista Castro, they're saying in 1926, uh, Marcus Garvey went to Cuba and. Uh, rallied up the uh, African diaspora and, uh, and put black pride in Cuba. Okay. So once that happened, they're trying to say that once they started coming to the United States, they identified as black upon no, reaching the United no. States. The, the Cuban, the, like Cubans who are black have always identified as black, right? right. But the difference is, and I think this is an, a black American concept where stuff is lost in translation. Black Americans, we here typically identify by race and not nationality. Everywhere else you go, they identify by their nationality because that's because we don't have a nationality, but America. Oh, yeah, I, I have a nationality, but let me finish. Um, because everybody else identifies as as nationality because race is not that complex of an issue for most for for most nations other than America. So when you hear some. Cubans, and I'm telling you this being raised by a man that was black as fuck and Cuban who told me I was African as a child, okay? Um, and whose family can be traced to a, a, a Carolina's fucking um, plantation. Those Africans that were sent to Cuba during the slave trade, after, well, after they, they completed slavery here, they still had a financial interest in slavery. So a lot of those slave owners sent their slaves to Cuba to work or to be sold. So those people knew who the fuck they were way before the 20s. So assuming that, assuming that that people who live in another country don't know their race or don't have pride in their race because they're from another country is crazy. But see, that wasn't, that wasn't the issue, though. The issue no, was... No, I'm, 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 I don't want to uh, make her uh, confused by, by this, by you coming you in here. <laughs> no, oh yeah, that's why I'm trying to clarify. You said the ones that come uh, here. Other, other, no, no, that's what you guys said. You said that Marcus Garvey energized the Cuban. Okay, so listen, so let me, let me. This is why I put. This is why I put um, um, your man's on the screen. But do you know what the statue is of, bro? No. Right, and that's the problem because this. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm not laughing, bro. This is this shit is serious. Bro. You don't contest what I'm saying. You got to like, I'm literally on a remedial level now, bro. Listen, I'm not saying Black Pride started with Marcus Garvey, okay? This is Antonio Maceo. This predates Marcus Garvey in Cuba. Well, I'm not saying Black Pride started in Cuba with Garvey. I'm telling you, it was he rallied up Black Pride in 1920s. That was just an example. It, this is this is literally something that these people have as a people, bro. It's not, it's not a concept you can get away from. Marcus Garvey just was able to tap into it, and that was the generation I used. But this is a previous generation. Now. His mother, his mother is considered the mother of Cuba, and she's a black woman. His, his, and Mikhail's mother. He, 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 I, I just, I can't with some of these dudes. Well, see, and you got to understand the argument is not whether or not people in uh, Cuba know that they're black. Obviously, they, no, they no, don't. no. They have, they had racial pride too. But that's that's because Cuba, was. unlike the other like Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, it was actually kind of segregated. <laughs> that's that's why you got people in Cuba. Now, now, now who are, who, the now uh, uh, no, 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 we're not. <laughs> that's why we got people, the, the people in Cuba who can be regarded as white. That's why they actually can look white versus a Puerto Rican who is called white. They won't really look white. They are white. What do you mean regarded by white? Do you understand that Cuba is made up like of every country in the world, every nation in the world? They got black Cubans. They got white Cubans. They got mixed Cubans. They have Asian Cubans. You do realize that Cuba is a nation. Is a nation. Well, but Cuba's a little different because it was isolated a lot. No, it's, it's not different. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mass it's of land. That is a, 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 no, that's, 
does, the nation does not create race. The people. Right, I know that. That's what I'm trying to. Uh, so you got to so listen. Like Cubans, stop saying that they're pretending to be white. They are white, and yes, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say that. They know they white. Just I didn't say. Like, I didn't say anybody was pretending to be white. Right, but you said that they were like kind of like passing as white. Or no, no, I didn't. I didn't say that either. <laughs> You did, though. You did. No, I didn't. I said, I said that. I, so, he, most of you, like 90% yeah, Cubans. But I know where he gets that from because you This is what I said. I, I said that Cubans, unlike Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic, when they have somebody that they want to call white, they will be that's actually. Correct. That's universal. Uh, for, uh, that's but that's I can't, I can't finish, though. No, I got to make it clear, though. No, they, you don't. You don't get it. There are black. No, people. no. I'm trying. I'm trying to make you understand what I'm saying. So he's about to put his foot in his mouth. Go ahead. I, I know it's what he's about to put his foot in his mouth. I'm here. saying if you call somebody white in Cuba, yeah, a Cuban white is more likely to be white. You take away the accent, the name, and you say, okay, does that look like any other run of the mill white man? Yes. Now, when it comes to a Puerto Rican or a Dominican that they call white, you take away the accent of the name. Nah, they're not white. No, no. Let me answer that. Let me answer. That. There, I, there was there were obvious white Mexicans who will tell you that they white, but yeah, they don't look it. They don't look it though. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Yes, they do. What you I had a co- I had a college professor. She didn't look white. Like, 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 you gotta go. You gotta travel or something. They, these people come with blonde hair and blue eyes, green eyes, freckles. And, 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 have, and that, it's a nation. Like America is not the only place where black and white exists. Yes, and believe I, I me. Think, believe me, I know this. But and I'm saying white, the is, white, they you, exaggerate on you, the white. But you can go to the Dominican Republic right now, right? And you can see literally white people, blue eyes, like they're white, white, all in the Dominican Republic. And then you can go, you can see people that's 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 dark as, they got, uh, as a rock on the ground. So you have all different kinds, because you got to understand something. When you're dealing in Cuba and you're dealing in Dominican Republic uh, with the dictators, they was importing Jews, Italians, uh, and all kinds of different groups to try to lighten up the population there because damn near everybody was becoming black. So when you when you get to Dominican Republic and places like Cuba and stuff, you want to see all different oh and Asians as well. Yeah, they was important all these people. So you'll see a whole different mixtures of, of different groups of people, and a lot of them will have brown skin, and you'll be like, damn, he black like me. They be like, I ain't black because they believe they everything else. So you got to understand the history of those countries and what. Uh, oh, uh, I know. Uh, just like Puerto Rico, they they put in more uh, so-called Europeans than the slaves. At, no, at one time they had more slaves in Puerto uh, than the whites. Right. And then they brought in more whites. So they thought, the slaves, they, and now you got mulattoes who mix with mulattoes. That's what a Puerto Rican is. They try, While now, Dominican now, 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 is basically now, black. Okay, now, 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 now I'm glad I you right into that. So now when you talk about the black pride, because now this is where you're going to dance around. What happened was when they started to import these people, uh, over time, these groups started to be the ones that come into power, and they started to uh, take advantage of the more Africoid or darker complexed Latinos of, of those of those places. That's why you got to understand the history of places of Puerto Rico, places like Moesa and Carolina, uh, of Santiago and Cuba, um, uh, uh, the Parsley Massacre, when you're dealing with the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and, and, and who were these people? But see, and now it, you got it, slick. Now you got you slick. Know I did. No, I, just I didn't. Got I did because I know. See, because I, I I have conversations with dudes. But let me let me explain how you got slick. That's let me, why. Let me explain how you got slick. Because you're trying to say that the mixed people, and then as they started gravitating towards white, then they started taking over and suppressing black pride, right? Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah. but when you look at the leadership of these nations in the Caribbean, mm-hmm. they've always been white. The leadership, the leadership, the leadership of these organizations were. Of the people, oh, of the that's organizations. I thought oh, you said oh, country. The countries, my bad. I didn't mean to say, this. but the people of those countries has always been people of positions that of families that was already in power of, of Spaniards, but they started uh, bringing in other groups as well, and they start bringing their families and people over into those countries. So yeah, it was always a more white complexion. But this is why, and I'm glad you said it. This is why you had revolutions. And fighting. So now when I can show you Cuba, I can show you Dominican Republic and the fighting in the Dominican Republic. What was the fighting about? Are you saying Cuba's revolution uh, was uh, over race? What was the fighting about? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Was Cuba's I'm revolution asking, over I'm race? You, no, I'm asking you that. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> I, 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 
you can tell me. See, because see, I've been I've been tell, I've been talking about the fighting and and breaking that down for as, since we've been talking. I want to know what you know. You tell me what the revolutions in those so called Spanish speaking countries was about. But I'm I'm the dimwit here, so I'm trying to get no, educated. No, no. I, I I mean, you know, I'm speaking. You you uh, you know, you said you was intelligent, so no, 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 no. I'm a you were no, 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 I'm a common idiot. I'm, I'm trying to learn. To tell, well, I need you to tell me no who was saying that you're an idiot. You're just asking me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm calling myself an idiot. I'm a, I'm a no, dim no, idiot. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're proving my point. I've, I've been around a long time. I know black men like you. That's why you ain't calling yourself yeah, an idiot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, believe me, you don't know black men like me. I get it. So what I'm asking you is, tell me what the revolutions in the Dominican Republic was about. No, I asked you. Oh no, tell me. What now, you, you, you're getting emotional again. Just, just give him a give him a second to Google it, uh, brother Macon. Just give him a second so can Google it. Well, see if I'm googling it, you can. No, no. Tell me why. You, you can hear the keys me, if I'm googling tell something. Tell me why Tejillo was assassinated, and then tell me what the. Uh, no, no, that, that was a CIA hit. Why? And what was the Parsley massacre about? But I'm asking you. I want to get back to Cuba. Oh, man, here we That's go. That's what I want to get All back right, to. Hold on one second, Joe. Hold on one second, you're, you're man. Go one second. One second. Man, let me thank all heart, grit, and grind for the PayPal, man. I appreciate that, man. I, I <laughs> sit here talking in circles, man. Slim Duncan, good looking on the cash app. The rest of y'all support the black content, man. Even if we do got Alquan up here acting crazy as fuck. Man. <laughs> now you know what it is. It's just that I'm pro black American. I don't really care about the, anybody else and. The you, people. No, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. People give us the just, biggest no, feedback of those. I, I, some I, 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 this is where I disagree with that. This is where I disagree with people who say shit like that. Because you got venom, bro. Like I'm pro Black American, and I don't care about nobody else. But you don't hear venom spew from me because I really don't care until they tell me what's going on in their country. I don't know. Shit, I'm They're pro Black American. Oh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't spew venom. No, you got underlying issue, bro. I got a what? You have some issue with people that's that's across the diaspora. Oh no! Well, see, that's the thing. I don't believe in the diaspora. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? Hey, Ted, you just did his. That's what I was trying to allude to, brother Macon. I knew he wasn't. That's why he has this mindset. You got it. He has this mindset. But don't believe in the diaspora. Yeah, support, support. You, you broke up. You broke up. Yeah, you got to tell us what you made. We listening, bro. Hey, Tess, this nigga just said. See, now I'm, a nigga, now I'm a nigga. Now I'm a nigga. Now. Yeah, that was the nigga shit. Hey, everybody, hey, no, don't do that. Don't, don't start crying about the word nigga because I say that shit too. Now, listen, though, man. Now, look. I'm not even paying African. Don't want nothing to do with some principles and none of that shit, bro. But look, man. How you saying it's not a diaspora? <laughs> Right, that, that that's again. That's that. Mar See, I'm surprised at you, Taz, because that's that Marcus Garvey craziness. No, the no. African stuff. What the fuck? It's not craziness. Yeah, it's it not historical relevance to it. Okay. To out, what do you What do you consider the former slave force? Bro? You got the You got to tell me what you mean. And I'm like, okay, I'm a fucking a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now I'll give you an example. The three of you on the screen right now. None of you look alike. What the fuck? <laughs> So by 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 okay, so by by that standard, am I am I not a black? Am I I'm not a black woman then? You can be black, but so can the East Indian. No, uh, I, okay. I'm I think not East you Indian. Just left it. I, I, I know, but I said you could be black, but I said so can the East Indian. I just wish it would have been a moment of silence. Am I black woman? Silly shit. <laughs> I, I, my, my understanding, my history, my, my heritage came from Ghana. So am I am I still a black woman? It doesn't matter if you came from Ghana or whatever, you're still black, yeah. So, okay, but wait a minute. So I'm, I'm confused. Because that's part of the, the diaspora. My people are come from Jamaica who came from Africa. So, yeah, yeah, you're from Jamaica, they from Ghana. But, but why do you have to come from yeah. Africa to be black? You already established earlier that you said you don't have to come from Africa to be black. You don't. You don't. Look at so my now, picture now she, on the now fucking she, screen. But now she's trying I'm to. Uh, person. Now she's trying to put it to Africa. Now it says that that that's what makes. But what, me does, what, what does that got to but do we're with talking about the diaspora? We're not going to yeah, talk about, about any other. But see, a, a diaspora. You're specifically a di talking about out of Africa at some point. Uh, see, a diaspora implies that it comes from all the all the same people. No, no. It, but when you're dealing with the diaspora, even if you had black people here, right, and they got classified as 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 Negro color. 
African American and was mixed in, they are all part of the diaspora because the, the diaspora, children, born, yes. the children was that was born out of that are part of the diaspora. Right. Now this uh, diaspora community. stuff, this is uh, made up uh, philosophy. I mean, but let me ask you. But let me ask you a question. Are you, are you, are you a black man? man? No, no, hold on, no, hold on, no. Let, let, let's unpack that. <laughs> no, no, I'm dead ass serious because I've heard a, uh, I've heard a couple of white men who can put on a nice, good little drawl and sound like a nigga. So I'm, I'm See, see now the nigga words start coming out when the frustration keeps building. No, I'm really so, oh, no, I really I mean, talk. No, I've been saying nigga, nigga for a minute, so I'm gonna talk about. No, we're gonna say nigga, but I'm gonna ask you though. What do you know when you talk about American history? I'm, I'm gonna ask, just ask you a question, and I want you to answer it. What is, what is American history to you? Oh, child. That's a good question. Uh, when the United States began, if you want to get specific. When did it begin? See, this is nigga questions I'm getting right now. I'm when sorry. did it begin? What the fuck? When did it begin? No, it ain't. That's that's a legitimate question. It began with the white man forming it, the uh, Anglo-Germanic uh, in particular. Okay. Not, uh, I, I, I don't count the Dutch. That's see, not, when you would actually think blacks first, you wouldn't, have, not, you wouldn't have used that as an example. What's wrong with just saying 1776? Because it, yeah, I had to relate it to a people, that's why. And, and so, so, so if let I would have said the white question. man, people would have said, all oh, the Dutch. So, but let me ask you a question. They that was when they put things on paper, but you had colonies all up and down the east coast since 1552, right? Right. So, what I'm asking you is from uh, 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 from Florida all the way up to Maine and Massachusetts, right? Who, uh, who were you know, who were these people and who were the people that was already who were the people that was on the land and when the Europe who was the Europeans that came? Obviously, Spain had Florida, British, and the Dutch. Uh, well, the Dutch had the northeast. And then okay. uh, uh, the British came in, took it over. And who was and, here, though? Who was, America who was, was the people that said when they were they black? They, were they, uh, oh, that was the indigenous uh, Americans, blacks primarily on the East uh, US and uh, Mongoloid types towards the West. So, do you know? Okay, so so basically, what you're saying is you are one of those guys, like, you know, you, you subscribe to the Turtle Island and uh, I, I, I didn't say anything about the turtle. No, I'm asking because you said blacks primarily, so and these blacks would have been considered the original Native Americans. And right. you know, they, they, they talk about the Lenape people here in Pennsylvania, Delaware. So do you believe the, yeah, the, 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 the Lenape? Matter of fact, matter fact they even have pictures of uh, drawn by Europeans, the blacks on the West Coast too. For that matter, no, 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 I, I, got, I got all of that. I, when they was looking for the founding, uh, not the founding youth, the uh, 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 Cortez and all of them was over there. Going up and down California looking for shit, but I'm gonna ask you a question: Do you believe that the Lenape and the Wampanoag people were black? Listen, the, the majority of the natives here in, in the Northeast were black. Okay. No doubt about that. No, and the Mongoloids—that's another thing. That's so the Mongoloid, Mongoloids came. The Mongoloids is more. So you said they were more on the West Coast where the Mexicans are. More Western, more Western. huh? More Western. More Western. More Western, right? So, the Mississippi. Okay, so I met. I want everybody in the chat room to listen. So, with that being, I, I brought you so easy to back in the corner. It's always ridiculous, man. God damn. So, see, see sir. First of all, wait, first wait of a minute. minute. No, 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 no. You don't even know what I'm about see, to say. Don't get defensive. No, but, no, I'm not getting defensive. I'm not like you. I'm not emotional. I say, no, 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 but wait a minute, though, because you don't say what you're telling me is. Hey, hey, George, on the East Coast, hey, George, they were black. Your phone, George, it's like going in and out of something. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna go out and come back in. Watch this test. I got it. This is check me. Again, this is from a guy <laughs> who, who who is not a black American. I might add too, but uh, who ain't a black American? George Macon. Man, you sound crazy, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Think, is his mother like Honduran or something like that? Bro, that nigga, that nigga as black American as you gonna get. What are you uh, how, he, he ain't as black American as you can get. How is how is, so you saying George wasn't raised in America? It doesn't matter where you raised at. Bro, if you black and raised in America, you're literally black American. Uh-oh. So now we go back to the main, to, main the main topic of your show. Now I guess those uh white people uh, <laughs> I guess they could be black then, right? No, it, it, how can how can a white person be black, a black American, if they're not? Hey, black? man, if people regarded them as black and they were raised black, they're, if they're not black, they're not black. So how can they be a black American? Well, the same way George Macon could be a black American when he's not. 
The same way. Wait, so, wait, so, wait, so okay, so let me let me see if I can do this a different way. So you telling me uh Marcus Garvey and his wife kids born in America wouldn't be black Americans? Nope. Okay, so you have no understanding of the constitution then. <laughs> I have an understanding of lineage. Okay, but that has nothing to do with a, a landmass and a nationality. Actually, it does. That, that it doesn't. Hey, no, watch this. Hey, watch this, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. I, I did a video. Yeah, I did a, I did a video, right? And this is the part that made me laugh, right? Because when I'm dealing with my people in America, especially when you're dealing with our people, unfortunately. No, no offense, but oh, you're wait, not wait, my people. Wait, though. wait a minute, wait a minute. When you're dealing with our people, unfortunately, a lot of black people don't even know who their grandfathers are, let alone damn near dads. So what I did was I, I did a video with my pops, showed a picture of my pops. We went down to Virginia on the land, on the, on the plantation where the family come from. And I also got one in Maryland. We show the land, my uncle, but you know, we got it all. I, I challenge people that like to say that to show theirs. But see, most of these people talking, a kid, a get on here and say, I know who my father is. I say, well, show the proof. Show me your grandfather in the land. Go, go down south to the land where they come from. None of them ever do it. None, none of them ever do it. I, I, even, I, even, with, even with an event and-, and, and I used event. to deal with a lady. She took me to uh, no, South Carolina. I, 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 I actually have some land involved. I need to see yours. Yours, see, because I've challenged Yvette too. Because Yvette Carnell even mentioned me on one of her shows. So I challenged, I said, Yvette, I need to see your granddaddy. I need to see your uncles. I need to see the land where they come from. We need to see something. So you're challenging <laughs> us because we're no, actual black Americans and you're, and you're not. So that's why you want to uh, try and disprove us as being what we are. No, no, I'm going I'm to tell you what I am, the type of nigga I am. I'm from the street. You can't just come tell me something. You have to show and prove. If you say you about this black shit, then show me your wife, show me your kids, show me what you're doing that represents this black shit. Show me your lineage, your family, show me something. You can't just come, cause see on YouTube, you could be the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. You could be any motherfucking body. If you're about health, nigga, show me that you got a, a fit and shape body. Do something, God damn it. What the Anybody fuck, fit and shape body? What, what the fuck is this, man? Uh, this is why I, if he was I mean, a white man. You can't, just, you can say anything on this motherfucker. So show and prove. But I tell you what I'm not though. I'm I don't know. Some, what you I'm, I'm, oh, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. I'm somebody who's not of any other foreign land. That's yeah, what. I don't. I don't, I don't man, you might not. Even, you don't. You don't. Listen. You, okay. So my whole point is, uh, we got to understand. I, I really didn't want to bring that. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was muted, bro. Hold on, man. Because I want to know what you. What What do you think a black American is? Somebody who doesn't come from Jamaica, doesn't come from the Caribbean, doesn't come from other lands. We don't have any other culture. We don't eat any Wait, other foods. Don't, you, you're moving too fast, bro. We got to do this real slow. So you said don't come from any other lands. Right. So if a person was born in a hospital in, in, in Wichita, Kansas, they're not from another land. They're from Wichita, Kansas, right? Not if their parents came from, let's say, Poland. Oh, now, so now, okay, so now let's go back to what is a black American then? Like I said, we don't come, we can't trace our people back to some other country. <laughs> That's not what you said. Tell me what a black American is again. Again, black Americans are black people who can, I know you're trying to wait for that A word, but you got to understand we're people who can't trace our people back to any other country. It all starts here. Bottom line. False. <laughs> well, that's false. That's, that's false for you. That's, that's, not, well, I, I'm, that's not false for you. So let me ask you a question. So I understand the whole thing that you're trying to get off about black people from foreign lands. Now, sometimes they are more uh, inculcated into whatever culture they came from, from whatever land they came from. So basically, like in the case of, of, of a lot of black families, even some of the people that are mods on this channel, where you were able to trace your lineage back during slavery in America and your black American slave parents were shipped off to another land and the family comes back here. So they're no longer the lineage, they're no longer black Americans because of they moved. So if you move 
to uh, Switzerland. Your kids ain't black American. Your, your kids ain't gonna be black no more. Oh, they would be. Okay, so would you consider them Americans, Amer uh, black Americans? Yeah, if that's the well, well, how, 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 how do you disqualify the majority of black people then? Right. Huh? You're disqualifying a large amount of black people. You do know historically a lot of the people that were here also got sent out to places too. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? No, no, I don't buy that. I, I, no, I actually have a I actually have an example. I have, I have a friend. Yeah, I have a friend whose, whose great grandfather came from Jamaica and was sent to Nova Scotia. But, but wait, but then, but wait, that is a that is an entire concept within slavery. You mean to tell me you don't <laughs> slave? Jamaica, the, the West Indies, and America—they've been going back and forth. That's a lie. 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 No, wait, 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 no, no, this is how you get. Oh, only Jamaicans like Farrakhan and Garfield Reed keep repeating that stuff. No, 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 Part of it is okay. half the Caribbean well, okay. is the Spanish. Because you said before my before I had to go out and come back in, because I, I knew I had you. You said that the Lenape people, the Wapanog, the uh the Lumbi, uh the Tuscarora, all of these groups that was on the East Coast from Carolinas on up, the Cherokee, they were black. That's why you had the Indian Removal Act in 1830, right? They were black. So these people that were black fought in these wars also for their freedom. So some of them fought on the side of the British and went up to Canada and then to Sierra Leone. Some went to um, Liberia in the War of 1812. A lot of them left the Carolinas and went to Trinidad. Some of them came back here during the 1790s after the Haitian Revolution. So we moved around. So now when you when you make, when, and, and this is, I tell everybody in the chat room, don't believe nothing I say, just go look this up. Look at the War of 1812 and the blacks and how they got to Trinidad. Look at the revolutionary war and how Sierra Leone was created. This is what I need y'all to do. Fuck with me. Listen to what I'm telling you. Go look this up, and then you'll get a chance to see how they brought uh, how South Carolina, uh, South Carolina was created uh, from people from Barbados. So when he makes the statement that you can't track, you can only track it to here. That's a very inaccurate statement, and it's very irresponsible. You have to understand how we moved around and in wars and stuff that we fought. So here in the Caribbean, why they call it a diaspora? Because we moved around in our bloodlines. That's why when I said a lot of us don't even know who our grandfathers are, you can find out that your great great grandfather was from was born in St. Thomas. Again, I, once again, these Caribbeans, what they keep trying to do is they keep trying to uh, make us have their heritage. No, so again, that, that way we no, can have no, all, no, all no, no we're not. Yes, it is because that, you guys talk. To, you, you guys you talk the same talk. You guys talk the same talk. Now, now, don't get me wrong. 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 Don't Look at how Sarah Leon was created because he made a statement and he said that the, it's only traced back to the Americas. And I, what I'm telling but you Sierra is... Sierra Leone is French. The, the country in Africa that they call Sierra Leone, how they left South Carolina and went to Canada and from Canada to Sierra Leone. Look, up who, Paul, look up who Paul Cuffey was. Or so I'm telling y'all, just look it up. And you'll get a chance to see how the bloodlines were moved around based off of war. But see, now, now you're okay. trying to uh, make it appear as if, see, because normally what you guys say is that everybody was mixed up in I, slavery. I, 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 say that again. Normally what you guys say, so now I know why you came. Normally, because you mentioned it, because I feel reading them too. So you're the antagonist guy that come on there. Even we spitting facts, you come on with this. I know niggas like you. Well, see, the problem That's is you it. come from that... Uh, Saw another crew where you guys think. No, 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 no. It's fag <laughs> niggas like you, bitch ass niggas like you. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's the thing. You can call. I don't mind the name call. This what it is. But I knew this what you came here for. That's not what I came here for. I came here for the time. We from that crew. But see, that's what I'm saying. Then it drifted off. As you can see, the man, the man is highly emotional. No, I am. No, I am. I'm highly emotional, angry. I'm just like right. You said what? I can't even hear you. You're breaking up. Yeah, real men come in with integrity and respect. 
You that's came what I'm in with. with a preconceived notion and you're, and you're acting no, like that. I already we're knew we're what we're you came having, in We're for. having a dialogue. You're having an argument. No, there's no dialogue here. It's never been a dialogue. Right, because you're all emotional. You can't no, no, it's because like you just said, you, like, you let me tell you this. Listen, dude. See, see, we already I'm got you, man. No, no, see, no, let, me you, let me tell you where your anger comes from. Your anger comes from because you're not a black American. So you're trying to school us and try, like so many Caribbeans do, they try to tell us um, who we are or who we should be me? instead of letting us be who the hell we are. Just leave us alone. That's all I ask. Okay. May I ask you something hard cold? Are you married, sir? No, I'm not. Okay. I was just. Curious. And no, uh, I don't deal with white women if that's where you're going. <laughs> oh, I was just curious. <clears throat> but I have dealt with Puerto Ricans, so I ain't gonna lie. Well, racially, what were they? Because the nationality doesn't mean that they're black. Well, uh, to me, I'm be honest people. with you. I thought she was black when I met her. Okay, so if you thought she was black, she's not black. But I been trying we because have, we have I, a son. I've dated, we have a son. I've, I've been trying to I've been trying to get her to hear from her that she was black. And every time I would call her black, she couldn't commit to it. And just like a Hispanic. Just that, like a, that doesn't seem problematic to you. Isn't that probably the reason, no, no, that is. The reason why we're having an, a conversation today? No, that is a problem. That's, that's why I went into what I was went in about the Hispanics and the Caribbean. That's why I went into <clears> that. Understood. No, I understand what you're saying. And, and you, know, I think what you're getting is you're used to West Indians constantly defending themselves. I understand. I support the Ados movement in terms of the reparations. I get that, because at the end of the day, Jamaica's gonna have to call into question to do the same thing. It's not like we're not we're not doing it. We are, but I'm saying that we have the same issues, the mixed racing issue. We have a similar. But the issue truth be told, see, that's why that's why I have a problem with. Every time we do something, you guys try to follow us, and, and it's like no, you're because, I, because even, okay, even I, now you have okay, some Jamaicans well, who are saying I'm, I'm indigenous well, to America now. You know why That's what having, some Jamaicans are saying. You know now. why we're having an issue with that is because you don't believe in the black diaspora. No, no, I no, do. no, no. You know, I'll tell you the reason why I have a problem with it is because. You guys can't leave us alone. That's what it is. It's no, like, it's not, why can't, why can't, why can't who, you? Who is the us? Why, 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 We're having a nice conversation. I, I, man, I, just I, back I, I, I want to support y'all, and I want y'all no, no, to be able no, to do so. I need to stand by you guys. That's my Fuck your support. No, hold on, sis. Fuck your support. Who the fuck is who the fuck is the we? You ain't even let me know who is the we. Let me ask you a question, Mrs. I, 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 I told you, I told you who the so, we was a long who, time ago who, when I first who, came on. Who was the first person to put the reparation bill on the table? Period in the barrel for black people. Who gives a damn? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? You said you you about American history? No, but he doesn't care. He doesn't believe in the black diaspora. All right. Well, who, if you want, okay, any contributions let me, okay, outside okay, of America, let, let me ask. This, let me ask George making uh, uh, American history. Let me ask George. Uh, hold on. Let me ask George making an American history question. Who was the first man to take a shit in a toilet in America? See, yeah. See, look. You're being obtuse. I told you, no. you, you fucked up. I told no, 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 no. My, my point was, my man keep asking these questions like people got every aspect of history on their mind. No, you're saying no because you're no, no, because you are a Tariq Chopper. That's what you're thinking. You think that every single person who is from, who has, and I was born here. I was raised to only mainly understand African American history. No, so you weren't because you eat Jamaican food. You, you speak that patois. But, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but that's the only one So you're gonna punish me? For no, 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 no. I'm just saying that's a cultural thing. Okay. That's a cultural okay. thing. Okay. okay. I don't. We don't. We don't. We don't have. We don't have that culture. Anybody because of that? No. no I actually, I wasn't even trying to shame you. I'm just pointing out. I'm asking you. Hold up, George. Chill. What is our culture? Tell me what our culture is. Tell me what our culture is. Pointing it out is not shaming anybody. No, no. You're shaming it. No, 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 because everybody that know me on here know that I teach our culture. So you tell me what our culture is. But you can't teach our culture because you're I'm not of our culture. Of our culture. My father is just as black as yours, and he fought and, 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 and I never said that I was of I never said that. That is your problem. You assume things, and you don't actually ask to clarify. I understand why your fiance or whoever it is is saying that because it's not identifying as black. If I can offer some insight. Okay. It may not have anything to do with race because when you're outside of this country, if you got people that are black or outside of the country, the race issue is not as complicated, right? 
and everybody knows when you say a black person, for the most part, you're talking about black American, our culture. So we don't have a quote unquote code word for our ethnicity unless you're like Creole. Um, or what, what's the other one? Um, uh, what is it? Um, Irene Yvette identifies as. Um, Geechee, right. We don't have like uh, all these intricate ethnicities as black Americans. We just call ourselves black. Typically, and if this is misunderstood by black folks a lot of times, they're not denying their race. They're separating their ethnicity. So a lot of times when you talk to someone that is Latin from another country, they know goddamn well they black. But when you, when you call them black, they believe what you're trying to do is identify them as one of you. Uh, ethnically, we don't even uh, did, you, did you grow up? Yeah, with I, I, only have, I only, I only distinct this, the cultural difference, but racially, I see well, it. Racially, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Man, this nigga, this nigga ain't even black. Who the fuck is this? He's not even an American. I know he's not. I'm a more American than you. No, you're not. How you gonna be more American than me? We don't know who you are. We don't even know. It's that mindset. That's why that shit can't work because of people like me and people like George who can trace their lineage right back here, even but, though their people were switched around to some other place. But see, that's imaginary. That's BS, though. You got to prove that's it. That's not BS. That's, no, that's, you got to prove that's 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 They don't know it. Right. Yeah. See, see a lot, lot, but a lot of the stories we get of slavery are made no. up by people from the Caribbean. No, you don't want to take this to us. Slave no, trade. No. You asked why slavery didn't happen in the Caribbean. It was an import and export venture. They sold, they imported slaves, and they exported. It was a slave trade. No, slavery like, didn't exist for them. Like Nala. Trading on it, trading okay, where, where, where the exports in the United no, States at? No, no, the slave they trade all didn't the damn place. You, talk, you probably won and don't even realize it. No, see, that, that's made up history we get from no, these it's Caribbean. It's Caribbean. Oh, that's listen. It's, it's Caribbean know. Caribbean like, master no, teachers. What, what no, 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 no. That lead based paint, they did not teach you this. Whoa, well, wait a minute. So, you mean to tell me Dr. John Henry Clark is Caribbean? That's the only one you can name that's not. Now, I that's bet you Edward all the other ones were. I bet you all the other ones were. What about Edward Scobie, Dr. What about, what about Dr. Yeah. Ben? What about what, Dr. Ben? That's all what, you about, what about what Ivan Van Sotoma? What about Robert Jeffries? What about Dr. Jeffries? I mean, he might. Jeffries might be. He might be. He's from the goddamn Caribbean, fool. Yes, they are. This is a goddamn asshole. You ain't know who your mama is. You fucking a man, 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 watch you. You're, 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 you're an emotional guy. You're an who emotional guy. Who is white passing? What about you, white passing? You, you white passing? See, this, this is why this man did time in prison because he, he can't passing. control his emotions. Man. This is a dumbest shit. Why are you some kind of blackness and try to fit in? Why are you doing that? Why are you always doing that? Shit? Why are you trying to fit in? It's like, is that is that is that part of our black culture, that bitch nigga shit, to always go to somebody's prison record or something? Why do y'all do mm -hmm. that shit? That's all right. Yeah. But that's I'm saying that's right. what that explains his emotions. That explains his emotions. You know what that means? It's only a matter of time that he was going to bring that up. This shows the times that we in. Because I'm gonna show you in 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 this in this time this this wimpy five time dudes like you can come on the internet and talk. Cause see back when we was growing up when there was no internet and we talked face to face, motherfuckers like you wouldn't even be speaking. You'd been sitting down with your hands on your knees looking at us talk. Nah, yo, 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 yo. I mean, don't let the voice. Don't don't let let you, voice. Let you sit down. Cause see the way you the way you talk already shows. See, I, I've been around a long time. The way you talk already already shows your character. You no, wouldn't see, see, so you don't know you what you're you you projecting with emotion, so you're not listening. No, no, because and, you, and you keep trying to defend the I lies that you tell. You said you're an American, so I said I asked you some American history. I said, because see, you like to talk Ados. So if you talk in Ados, okay, okay, let me get, let me give you some more American history, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. All right, uh, 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 <laughs> okay, George, Abraham Lincoln was the president. That's that's American history for you. No, now, you see, now you're grasping for straws. You grasping for straws. That's not straws. That's American history. How you gonna yeah, ask? Yeah, let me tell you. You get in. You, know, you that nigga so, that that's oh, shit, no. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Hey. <laughs>
Hey man, hey man, on. why you even come? Hey, hey, why you, why, hey, hey, Alquan, cuz why you even come up here with that bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> like, why you all, like, man, that's some lame ass shit. Like, even like, like this girl, Audra, she come over here and she, you know what I'm saying? She come over here and she represent. She, yeah, she, she claimed Jamaican, but she come over here and she represent us as a whole. And she come over here and she fight with us. Like man, why no, you shitting on no. shit like that? Uh, uh, and your bitch ass ain't doing work. shit but sitting on the but internet fucking trolling people. But, but Rachel you know what Dolezal, I'm saying? Rachel Dolezal was fighting. Man, for I don't give stuff. a fuck, nigga. Hell, nigga, Jake Rachel, Rachel Dolezal, Dolezal put that more work than your ass. Day. Like nigga, you let a whole white bitch out work you, and you sit up here talking about ADOS and all this old shit, man. What the <laughs> fuck wrong with you, cuz? I, I, I mean, you chill that shit out, man. This is what pulled me up here. It's emotion. This is what man, I'm, I'm a fucking what human being, you dumb fuck. I'm supposed to fucking have emotions. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong but with y'all dumbasses with lot, that a lot, a lot emotions? Guys, what the fuck? A lot, a lot of black guys you use, emotions. They, they use emotions as a oh, supplement. Yeah, yeah, and, and I will yeah, slap the shit. And my emotional really ass will slap the shit out you if we were face to face with you with that dumb shit, cuz. I guarantee you we were face to face. over here in pro-black spaces with that dumb shit trolling and shit. Listen, I guarantee you we were face to face. over there with them goddamn The last thing you think about is smacking me in the face. I guarantee you that. nigga, fuck that. Just take your ass over there with them cones and shit and stop trolling, cuz. Like, we think about. If you saw me face to face, you think about running. That's man, the I don't give a about. fuck about what you think. What you think I do, man? Just stop fucking trolling with your weak ass. You hey, know man. what I'm saying? Like get the fuck out of here, boy. Name calling does not uh, have dialogue. Man, I'm gonna call you a nigga and two names, you bitch ass nigga. That shit. Just stop fucking trolling, or you gonna be a hundred and three bitch ass man. What's wrong with you, Mr. Pookie? Can I ask this dude a question, like for real, like because before me? See, dude, dude, that's that's already a question. Fuck that nigga. He better, man. He better get his shit right, man. I just got to hear it. I can troll my nigga. I don't even troll, but he think he with that. Hey, I could be with the bullshit too, my nigga. You better get some fucking act right. You admit now, like, but I this this is why I don't really think this dude is a black dude. He really sat here and said it's a lie about the slave trade. So you really don't know how the slave trade works globally, and especially if we don't even want to talk globally. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think anybody who claims that they do know knows. R really? Then why are you the expert on every damn thing? So I, I have to ask. <laughs> Listen, I, again, I, I tell you, I tell you, 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 you realize there were ports. That I am talking you realize, hold on, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. You realize there were ports in places like the Dominican person. Republic, Puerto Rico, all these other. You realize there were like ports, like slave ports, where they actually had, you know, auctions and sales for slaves. I've never seen it. I seen some military. Hey, but, hey, hold on, let me address that parts. point though. Hey, but y'all talking about a real small number that was exchanged through the Americans in the Caribbean. Most people that landed in the Caribbean stayed on it, stayed in the Caribbean because hell, they was dying in high numbers. So just like most other black people that was here in America, had a, a system that a refueling system that refuels slaves. They didn't need to keep on exporting and export. I mean, importing or exporting slaves because they had a self-refueling system. But okay. hold on, hold on. Okay, so, listen, so listen, this is where you got this is where this is where the history lessons come into play. So look, the reason why that's not applicable after the early 1800s because remember they outlawed the international slave trade. So it was my illegal. point too exactly. Right, so it was illegal to do it. They couldn't do it from Africa. That's why it picked up from the Americas to the Caribbean. That's exactly why the uptick, because you couldn't do it on a grand scale. It was low key and it was still happening, but it was happening right. from the diaspora to the south. But but my but the Taz, but before they outlawed slavery, I think it was 1807 or 1810 or something, before they outlawed it. America yeah, had an already had America, so. they yeah. America had all I'm talking about world I'm talking about Great Britain you know what I'm saying like, like those countries but like world I mean here in America they had before they even outlawed it America had done already had a breeding farms across the south and on the oh east coast God. they had done already had a system yeah. in place to yeah. you know just so in case it did it was again yeah, out going going to be outlawed in the future so why yeah. wouldn't they still be selling to the Caribbean, bro? 
That's because the Caribbean, because look, because the Caribbeans, they didn't, they didn't outlaw it until later on in certain countries in the Caribbean. I think Great Britain was the first one to do it, and all those islands in the Caribbean didn't belong to Great Britain. You see what I'm saying? Just because Britain outlawed it didn't mean Spain and France and Portugal outlawed it. Right, but this, this is what I'm saying. Though this is what you got to remember: the slave trade changed after the international slave trade was outlawed. The whole trade changed, and that self fueling mm -hmm. system you referred to, it was only limited to the people here. They didn't have people coming through the diaspora no more like that. And they didn't have mm -hmm. as many sex farms, huge sex farms, wow. They didn't have as many slave farms over there as they had here. So over here, they were doing the breaking processes, and this, this is where the breeding was happening and the exploitation.